Hi everyone, it's Patty the Quiet Sister. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. For today's card project, I am using Alta News Delicate Garden stamps, dies, and embossing folders. So let's get started. So to start my card, I grabbed a piece of 80 pound white cardstock and I misted it lightly before I stuck it in stuck it into the embossing folder. I think I missed it the front and the back, so I missed the back. Lining it up the way I want it to be in the embossing folder and then I'll miss the front. Just a light mist of water. And then running it through. And so this uh, embossing folder is 3D, so it does have some things that come out higher and some that come out lower. Now I'm taking some VersaFine black ink and stamping out two of the three images from the stamp set. And it does take me a couple of times to do it. And once that is done and dried, um, I stick it to my stamp wheel from Alta New. And now I'm coming in with my Zig Clean Color markers. And so I chose some colors. Um, for the pink flower, I used pink number 25, wine red number 24, and light carmine number 21. So I had started coloring it, and then I decided when I use my paintbrush, I, put, I was gonna put some perfect pearls in it so that as I'm blending the colors with my brush, a shimmer goes over it as well, and it turned out so pretty. I love it. So there I'm using um, the wine red. That was my darkest color, and I'm using that to put in some shadows. So I always started with that color, and I do have a scratch piece piece of paper off the side that I'm wiping these markers off as I blend them. And then I am coming in with pink number 25. And then I will blend, blend it out with light carmine number 21. So coming in now with the light carmine. Getting a little more shadow in there. And this is how I did all of the petals and then blending it all out with my water brush. So that's my completed peony, and now I'm starting on the leaves. And for the leaves, I used um, May Green number 47 and Light Green number 41. And then I came in on the stems and used Olive Green number 43 and Deep Green number 44. And then I blended, oh, and Green number 40. So the leaves were Green 40, Light Green 41, and May Green 47. And I would blend all of that out and again, still using the same water brush. So it's such a subtle shimmer that I got from blending this out, but it's so pretty in real life. And then um, occasionally it would blend out a little too much when I use the water brush, so I would just come back in with the darkest shade and give it a couple touch-ups. And it wasn't on every petal. And the great thing about these Zig Clean Color Markers is that you can uh, go, even when it's wet, you can go ahead and use the markers. So that went really well. So again, I went in with my darkest shade, which was green number 40, and then coming in with May green number 47, and then finishing it up with light green number 41. and blend out with the water brush. So that's how I did all the leaves on both stamp sets. So now that the leaves are done, I'm doing the stems. And again, I used olive green number 43 and then deep green number 44 to do just a touch of shading, not a whole lot. And then I went over these with the water brush as well, just to give them shimmer. I didn't really worry about anything blending. So this did not take too long to do the stems and the shading. So yeah, just going over everything with the water brush, getting the shimmer on the stems. And I did have already a little gold shimmer in that water brush. So it, I mean, it turned out so pretty. So now I'm coming in with the yellow flowers. And for the center, I used mid brown number 65. And then to do some shading, I used dark oatmeal number 66. And that's how I did the centers. And then to do the petals, 
I started with um, bright yellow number 20 and then yellow number 50 and then lemon yellow number 51 and if I wanted just a little bit more um, shading I, I did it with light brown number 61 because it it's kind of a yellow brown kind of an autumn brown I think would be a good way to describe it so going in with my bright yellow number 20 and then again over it with yellow number 50 and then yellow lemon yellow number 51 and then again going it over with my water brush so then I cut everything out using the dies turned out really great I thought I had edited most of my you know retent of cleaning of everything out but I guess I missed this one so getting everything cleaned up and put away and then um, stamping the sentiment so I stamped it with the Versafine black onyx ink and now I'm um, to prevent smearing mostly going in with hero arts uh, detail black embossing powder and using my we are memory keepers heat gun <clears throat> excuse me please uh, and then trimming everything out with my we are memory keepers trimmer so what my thought process was and I do really like how it turned out is I'm doing the flowers I had embossed the um, the card base the card panel I mean and so I'm doing the colored florals across the top and then the sentiment so you'll still see a lot of the embossed florals and then what I trim off I'll put on towards the bottom of the card base and I decided that I wanted to pop up the peony florals and even though I was going to trim some off I put uh, the tape on everything just in case I wanted it elsewhere on the card so got all the foam tape on and then I will be peeling off all of that there we go that's what I had envisioned it did I was a little nervous I didn't know if it would turn out very well so trimming off all of the excess and it was sticking to my scissors there's still a lot of good adhesive on my very old 3m foam tape and then using some of the scraps of the foam tape to um, put hello and then it says happy birthday I don't know if I've ever said I have seven brothers and sisters I have 40 some first cousins I need a lot of birthday cards so created that and then I'm trimming off a quarter of an inch all the way around the panel and then I'll come in and I realized my I had a really small card base it must have been like an a6 card base so I went and grabbed an a2 and it worked out perfect so just gluing that down with some barely art glue so that there's a nice white uh, frame border around the card project and while that is being um, flattened out with my misty I cleaned up the stamps and put those in the stamp sets and then I was just admiring it because I really like the details and then to finish it up I found some sequins that I'd gotten in a Simon Says stamp kit and I'm applying that down to the card so unfortunately the light doesn't capture the sparkle throughout all of the colored images but it's really pretty there's a lot of simmer shimmer a lot of shine very happy with how this turned out if you have any questions please leave a comment below um, otherwise this all this information will be on my blog um, the quiet sister dot blog and available for you as well Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you have a wonderful week. Take care. Bye-bye.